Let's go down to Rome. So, so we are on the cusp of the 2024 NFL season, and everyone's getting in their hot takes and bowl predictions. And, of course, pro football focus, sometimes frenemies uh, of the Vikings. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Right? But uh, they, they, got, they got some thoughts about some things. Uh, bold predictions for all 32 NFL teams. Uh, and we're going to go through the NF, uh, uh, NFC North because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but for the Vikings, so overall, like, you were expecting PFF to just shat on the Vikings. Oh, the Vikings will have the number one overall pick. The Vikings offense will be bottom five, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, their prediction for the Vikings, Sam Darnold isn't bad, which... <laughs> I feel like that that's damning with faint praise. Like, oh, he's not bad. Is this a prediction? Whatever. I'm rolling with it. I said this uh, offseason that I believe Darnold would start for at least four to six games for the Vikings this year right out of the gate. But with J.J. McCarthy out, now out for the year, uh, it's Sam's show. Uh, this is a good offense in Minnesota with a good offensive line. Oh, he, he, here's saying like he has to say that Minnesota has a good offensive line because PFF says they have a good offensive line. I don't know. Eyeball test sometimes says otherwise. Also, the run game last year. Uh, an experienced play caller and well, he's got two years of experience. An excellent balance between pass and run game options. Options, yes. Not so much last year. Uh, it, I think Darnold can be the uh, can have the best year of his career with on 3,500 yards passing. More than 20 touchdowns while keeping his interceptions below 15. That's lowered expectations. It really, it really is. I mean, okay, no, no prediction that the Flores defense finishes top 10. No, no prediction that, hey, Diamond Dallas Turner ends up Defensive Rookie of the Year. Okay, sure. Uh, but, of course, we believe in slinging Sammy Darnold, America's quarterback. America's. All right. uh, and he, yeah, uh, he, he's not wrong here in terms of the weapons that the Vikings do have. So Sam Darnold uh, thrown to Justin Jefferson, eventually Addison, eventually Hawkinson. Adair saw his watching his ass. A Aaron Jones running the football, plus the, that defense on the other side, the ball is going to get him the rock back. So, yeah, it, it should work out for Sam Darnold. But again, just, <laughs> these are supposed to be bold. And it says a lot about Darnold's career so far and the situations that he's been in when saying that he won't be bad is bold. It's kind of funny, man. But like I said, we're going through the rest of the NFC North. Uh, all right, so Greasy Grime Green Bay Packers. Jordan Love has a 4,500 yard passing season. Make this Jordan Love 5,000. Uh, making this Jordan Love 5,000 yard pass season was tempting because that the headline is sick. Cool. Uh, but that is just so many passing yards, and the Packers may not need him to throw that much for as good as his team could be. Uh, Love is one of the most diverse groups of pass catchers in the league. Uh, where's the Asian guy? Uh, maybe the most diverse. Uh, he. Oh, hey, I, I was told that having five wide receiver threes is better than having two wide receiver ones. Uh, he took a few weeks in 2023 to grow uh, his confidence. Uh, we, oh, you mean his ass? Thank you. The first half of the season, uh, as punctuated by uh, him looking terrible uh, against Flores in the Lambo game. Yeah, no problem. Uh, he took uh, blah blah blah, uh, which we saw flourish late in the regular season and postseason. If he can hit the the ground running uh, to start 2024, he'll eclipse 4,500 passing yards and perhaps even make a run at 5,000 uh, again. All of, all of his contract and all of his hype was based around him being good for about half a season. Not saying, I'm just saying. Can't wait till the wheels fall off. Speaking of fall off, the Lions. Team wins the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, I, I feel like there's a little bit of a difference between the Lions win their first Super Bowl in team history and uh, Sam Darnold isn't terrible. That's all. Uh, it's been a long time. The Lions franchise won an NFL championship in 1957. Oh, we're counting NFL champions championships now. Okay, well then, in that case, the Minnesota Vikings are the reigning defending 1969 NFL champions. Oh, if we're counting that, hey, we're counting that. All right. Uh, however, they're the only team that has been in the league since the Super Bowl era that, is not, uh, that does not have a Lombard. However, they're the only team that has been in the league since the Super Bowl era that, that not only does not have a... Lombardi Trophy, but hasn't even made it to the big game. Okay. That's, sorry, that was a confusing sense. Uh, that drought will end this year. The Lions are built for it. 
They're built for it last year. They have spent the last uh, the past four years crafting the rooster uh, to their talent uh, and culture expectations. They have one of the best uh, play caller quarterback combos in the league with some of the top passing options at each position. One of the best offensive lines and defense that uh, is improved and ready to get them over the top. Well, they couldn't be worse than last year, especially that secondary. Okay, sure. Yeah. No. Okay, I, I have a standing about with my buddy who's a Lions fan that uh, I'm getting significant odds that the Lions will not return to the NC, uh, NC, NC double, uh, the NFC Championship game within the next five years. Pretty confident in that one. It's hard to make the final four, man, but it's okay. Hey, uh, keep, keep buying into this hype. Speaking of hype, so the Bears, playoffs, baby. Based on projected win totals uh, for the team this coming season, the Bears have the third easiest schedule in the NFL. Their defense was a top 15 unit in multiple categories last season, uh, except for being ass. Yeah, uh, expected points added per play, coverage grade, interceptions. I uh, could be even better this year. Throw in the fact that they're adding uh, Caleb Williams, Keenan Allen, Roma Dunes. Oh, not Keenan Allen. Oh, load him. Mm. Uh, to aid their offensive woes, the and Chicago is poised to make the playoffs for the first time since 2020. All right. Well, so hold on. I'll, 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 are saying that three playoff teams are going to come from the N- NFC North because you got the Bears making it uh, with Jordan Love throwing for 500, uh, 5,000 yards, 4,500 yards. You would think that they would make it. And obviously the Lions, hey, Lions won the Super Bowl, so they're probably making the playoffs. Probably. Don't know for sure. Okay. And then all, all this with Sam Darnold uh, not being ass. Thank you. Uh, th- this seems like when you do record predictions, except you don't count, you, you don't make sure that the game's like even out, that there's equal number. It's okay. It's okay. Again, all the disrespect out here. Again, hey, Bears making the playoffs. Jordan Love having MVP season. Lions win, win in the Super Bowl. Uh, Vikings. Sam Darnold isn't terrible. Yeah, I'm just writing it down as more disrespect. Uh, and we, we'll take it as such. That's right, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, PFF's bold predictions. Hey, Darnold won't be ass. Thank you. Then the Lions won the Super Bowl, apparently. Uh, let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.